All right, so we're in day four of Catholic Schools Week. And so the purpose of this week, what is the purpose? Why do we have this week? We already know we're in a Catholic school. Who doesn't know that they're in a Catholic school? No, you all know that. So why would we have Catholic Schools Week? Yes. We're celebrating that we're Catholic, okay? Anybody else want to add to that? Yeah? Yeah? O okay, to help other Catholics? I'm going to just pause right there. To celebrate that we're Catholic. So first of all, we need to celebrate it because we forget that being a Catholic and being in a Catholic school is a gift from God. It's a gift from God. We don't. Th sometimes we complain about our Catholic faith, right? And sometimes we even complain about our Catholic school. And when we complain, we immediately forget that our Catholic faith and our Catholic school is God's personal gift to us. We heard about David who was overwhelmed with how generous God was to him. You know, David was a sheep herder. How many of you have sheep? You guys usually raise your hand for everything. <laughs> Nobody had sheep? Well, David was a sheep herder, and God called him and made him a king, king of Judah and Israel, and gave him power and authority over all the peoples, and David was overwhelmed with how generous God was to him because he knew that God's generosity to him, everything that he was given, the wealth, the family, the power, was God's gift. And it was a gift given to him out of God's love for him, that God so intensely loved David. It was like God's love for him was like a furnace. You know what a furnace is? It's a hot oven. So God's love for him was hot. And so David is like, what can I do to repay or do anything for all that you've done for me, God? Well, that's kind of the way we want to celebrate Catholic Schools Week is that we want to have the heart of David. David is the only one in the Old Testament that we hear that he had a heart after God. So to have a heart after God, a heart for God, meaning what? That he recognized everything in his life as a gift from the Creator. And so in Catholic Schools Week, we celebrate Catholic schools as a gift from God the Creator to us, each one of us. And then, we heard right here, what, what did you say? Why do, why do we celebrate Catholic schools? You had a great answer. Yeah? What's that? To help other Catholics. Because God isn't giving the gift of a Catholic school and the Catholic faith to you. And remember, your Catholic faith is a direct gift from God, okay? It's pretty awesome to be Catholic. Even though we have our challenges, it's a gift from God. But it's not just to be kept for you. That would be like taking a lamp and putting a basket over it. That doesn't make any sense, right? If you had a light, would you put a cover over it? No. What, what do you do when you have a light and you're in a dark room? So if it was night and this church was dark and there, the electricity was out and you had a candle, would, wouldn't that be foolish to put a cover over it? Well, that's, in a Catholic school, we're supposed to be a light for the world, for the culture. When we, when we leave and go home and back to our families, and when we go into the world, we're supposed to be a light for others, to show the Catholic faith to other people, to show God's love to other people. And this has been hard for us as Catholics, because it takes lo a lot of courage to shine God's light, which is God's love, to others in the world. We got peer pressure. 
that keeps putting upon us the temptation to hide our faith, not talk about our faith, not pray in front of other people, not show our faith. But that's like putting a basket over your light. And as you said, well, say it again for me. It was so good. To help other Catholics, if we know that we're, our Catholic school is a gift, and this gift is given to us, but also to help other Catholics, then we truly become not just disciples, but missionary disciples. Amen?